November 1st, All Saints' Day. What is the object of All Saints' Day? It is the veneration of all souls that are in heaven, even if they are not officially canonized or beatified. Anyone who is in heaven is a holy person. He or she is in the presence of God, sees God face to face, and is eternally pleasing to God. Since it is impossible to know all these persons, whose number is uncountable, the Catholic Church cannot properly honor each one of these saints by offering them a formal homage as she does with the canonized saints. So the Church instituted the Feast of All Saints, a date on which she venerates all of them. It is good to pray to all these souls and ask their protection. There are, however, some of them whose names we do not know who have a special relation to our current fight. Let us think about some of these souls. And who could they be? How many crusaders died unknown fighting for the liberation of the Holy Land from the Muslim domination and went to heaven? How many Catholics died in Spain and Portugal during the War of Reconquista? How many crusaders died fighting to conquer the pagan peoples of northern Europe? All these were souls who understood in a special way the splendor of placing their force of arms at the service of the faith, of sacrificing everything including their own lives for the victory of the Catholic Church. There were souls like these who died in France and in the Carlista uprising in Spain, the Cristeros who died in the Mexican Revolution, and so on. They are our brother souls who are in heaven praying for those who continue the fight against a modernist revolution on earth. And we cannot forget the cherished members of our families who preceded us in the sign of faith and gained their eternal salvation. They are our special intercessors who love us and want to bring us ever closer to God to save our souls and to be with them in heaven. St. Therese had a beautiful veneration for her brothers who had died before the use of reason. She used to say that they were the saints of their family. Her family soon would produce a much greater saint, St. Therese herself. We should pray especially to all the saints on this feast day of theirs, since they are particularly open to hear us. We should ask them to help us accomplish on earth the vocation God gave us, and after that, to be with Him, Our Lady, and them in eternal glory.